and three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode brought to you by Zenreal Clothing Co. Pick your tees and or accessories at zenrealclothingco.com. And um, actually, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enjoy the free music. Check out Zenreal Co. for the playlists. This is a time of savings. Yeah. All right, so... This is Craig Dialogue. We're going to talk about uh, Final Fantasy VII, the remake. It's pretty awesome. I thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, do you want to do like a movie review, Bish? No, it's just a demo. No, I no, 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 but I mean like movie review, like score it, talk about it, score it again, or just, just we'll completely talk, review it. I think just talk about it. All right, cool, cool. Um, what day of quarantine is this? When do we shut down? For me or no no just like in general when did when did things shut down it's like a week i don't know you tell me that (laughs) no like you when you were back we didn't have this social distancing thing yet did we i think Uh, they've been i think they were like talking about social distancing to do it yeah yeah so we're still in quarantine if you're listening to this in the future um yeah quarantine day seven thousand five hundred and two okay so final phase seven what do you think of the game? Yeah, yeah. All right. Your overall impression. What do you think? Uh, I liked it. Isn't it like revolutionary? All right. So this is my this is my take <laughs> on it. So Final Fantasy VII, when that first came out, it was like the craziest game anyone had ever played, right? Because it yeah. was like open world. They were doing like these like three D polygon graphics. They're like, whoa, this is insane, you know? And mm-hmm. then like. And then the the story itself was so revolutionary because it was like very, uh, very applicable to what was happening slash what would happen in the future. You know, it's very like climate change ish. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so from all those points of views, it was it was such a revolutionary game, right? And I think with mm-hmm. this remake, it's also revolutionary like story-wise like you can't change the story story is what it is and it's like very timely because of this whole like climate change thing that we're going on right now but like in terms of gameplay didn't you Mm -hmm. think it was crazy i thought it was a pretty good i it was if if every game on the new console was like this i'll be so impressed because like the way they seamlessly went from cgi to like like, like, not really, because it was all, like, the same in-game graphics. So it was, like, the way they went from, like, talking scenes to, like, normal gameplay, it was so perfect, right? Yeah. Like, like when, like, um, so, like, you're going to the elevator, you talk to the person, and then it'll zoom up to the character, and you're like, wait, this isn't CGI. This isn't, like, a cutscene right now. This is, like, you making this person talk to me. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that was not, yeah, I don't know. I was, I, I so I wasn't really thinking about it that way. I was thinking about more the gameplay in the sense of how the, the controls of it were. Oh my god, the controls were seamless too, right? Yeah. Like even because because I, I was kind of like, all right, so like in the first game, sorry to cut you off there, but in in the first game it was like okay turn based, right? So then they're like, okay, how are you going to do turn based magic? Because you got to cast magic spells while you're fighting. So I was kind of yeah. like, okay. How is this going to work? This might be like really mm-hmm. awkward, right? But then from directly from like hacking and slashing, when you select like a magic, it pauses the game and you can choose the magic spell you want to use. So it's almost like it doesn't cut yeah. from the actual battle itself. No, no. I love that about the game. I, I actually like that. Yeah, I, I, I like that too. Like, it was done really well. Uh, this It was pretty and and it's like choosing the magic or what healing or whatever it is. Right. So it was uh, it was pretty good actually. Well, the thing I'm waiting for is to see how like um, summons work. So we didn't have any summons in the game yet. So like a mm. summon is like when a when a mystical beast comes out, right? So are they going to do it like same like magic? It's just going to pause and then like there will be no more cutscene. It'll just like you'll have like this monster come out and like do his right maybe thing. maybe these are things again they're not going to give you everything in the demo right right, right things t- for the experience in the game too right true so, but but with uh, the way the magic and the battling like work hand in hand i'm super stoked over it wasn't even people. actually yeah uh, uh, I'm, I'm watching some of it right now and it's not even like it pauses the thing it slows down time i, I know right it's so great it's like 
it it felt so like natural. Everything was like, it's like of course you would do it this way. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's also like um, so like working in in my industry of marketing, you have to like uh, jump from platform to platform. But like mm-hmm. essentially, the principles are always the same, right? So like if I'm going to send an email to somebody. Like, I just need to know, like, how am I going to, like, structure the email? How am I going to design it? How am I going to segment? Well, basic, right? So then in this game, right. so that's, like, the user experience, right? So in this game, mm-hmm. it's almost like the UX was so good that you naturally knew how to play. Did, did you feel that, too? Like, it was almost like as I was playing it, I was, like, like my body knew how the next move should have moved. And it was, like, a natural experience, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was it wasn't like a steep learning curve where you're like, okay, damn, I pressed the wrong button. All right, I gotta press this again. Okay, it was just like, all right, hold X. All right, cool. X will show me like all the options. All right, I'm gonna swipe up and choose this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean? it was a very like yeah. seamless integration, and I think that's like a true. They, they say like if you're really good at UX, um, you won't even mm-hmm. you won't even notice the UX. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know, like. It, it, but but that's then right. that's when people take it for granted because then they're like, oh, th- who cares about UX, right? But it's like, no, no, UX is so important because without UX, you wouldn't be able to get from A to B, but we made A to B so easy for you, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, th- yeah. I think that was the most um, – that was the most um, engaging part of it. Like, I think that's like what took the top for me. You know what I'm saying? Like the that, bat, well, what? Or the, the, the bat, UX you're talking about? The, the or, UX, like the... The whole thing, the, that, that part of it. Yeah, that, that, that part of it, like the battle system. That's where mm-hmm. I was kind of like worried. I was like, oh, is it going to be like a hack and slash, et cetera, et cetera. But it was like, no, this is like perfect, perfect gameplay. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying yeah, to... I, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I was surprised. I wanted to see that too, like how they're going to add in the magic. Or add in... That's That was the key thing, like... It didn't matter about the story. It didn't matter about the world. All those those two things are super important. But if the gameplay is not on point, but they don't need to change any of that because exactly. that's already done. Right? So they just need yeah. to focus on the gameplay, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to like compare it to uh, God of War because I was like, oh, which one did I like better? I think this one's better than God of War control wise. Did you feel that too, or is it just me? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just only the demo. I. I... Uh, it's difficult to say. I do like God of War's hack and slash, right? Totally, totally. I I agree. Like, I think God of War was, like, the apex of what we had at the time. And then with this game coming out, it was like, okay, now this is the new standard, you know? Like, we're all going to, like, try and achieve this level of excellence. Yeah, we see. There isn't a lot of... Mm -hmm games that are like this right this is mainly for final fantasy style totally yeah yeah, for sure for sure but but what i'm saying is like you you know like engines like unreal engine all that stuff um Mm -hmm. you can you can use that engine like so they'll license an engine to create a new game right so like what i'm saying is i'm so curious to see what the future is going to be like because with this, it's like you can license this engine. You can create crazier games than this. You know, this is just like the starting point, you know? Mm-hmm. It, it's, again, it, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of, uh, what's it called? Um, the first Final Fantasy. Because in the first Final Fantasy, it was like the open worldness and then the polygons. Because they didn't really have that back then, you know? Right. Like yeah. like the, the polygon experience for Final Fantasy Mm-hmm, like, it mm-hmm. was unprecedented at that time. But then after that, you started to see, like, better advances. You know what I mean? Right, right, So, like, right. Final Fantasy VIII that came after um, Final Fantasy VII, they had this crazy, like, um, they had this crazy, like, open world experience as well. Mm-hmm. You know? But better graphics. So it's like, okay, what was lacking in the last one we're going to make up for in this one? Well, yeah. I mean, that's generally what they need any growth of technology right? to- totally totally and that's what i mean like what i think this game is is mm-hmm. like a foreshadowing of how amazing video games are going to be in the future yeah you know i, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know if it's is it i think they're releasing it part by part right oh no way oh too bad okay so i don't or- think it's the whole game because it seems like 
it'll be way too big. Yeah, totally. I agree, I agree. So is, what is it going to be, like, three more years before the next game comes out? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I don't think it's tech necessary like that, but maybe months in between. Okay, I'm that's not, not bad. Sure. So, so it'll be like, it'll be like uh, those Telltale games. Yeah, kind of like, uh, I think so, I think so. But so, I don't know the, t- the timeline could be longer. Right, totally, totally. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry if you're listening to this. Um, Athena's really needy, so <laughs> <laughs> Tara just went down to go pick something up, and now um, she's oh, crying right. at the door. Um, okay, so so with that, um, do you think, like, VR would be the next... Obviously, like, VR would be the next step, but, like, in terms of that, like, what what could you add to VR? Like, would it be your... Like, I'm trying to think of, like, what the next step would be. So it's, like, if we put VR, it's, like, is that how you control the up and down toggle? Because, you know, when you're playing the game and it's, like, like even first-person games, right? And you're, like, you have to learn how to use the two joysticks in unison in order to move your character in a very fluid manner, right? Obviously, you get better over time, but, like, initial players will have a steep learning curve, you know? Because... There's, there's, it's a whole different thing with VR though, because you're, you're really not, um, the way we walk around using the joystick now, uh-huh. you can't, um, I mean, you could do that in VR, but the, the, the issue with VR is that causes a lot of like, uh, motion. Like motion. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering about that too. It's like, if we start initiating VR in order to, uh, control the, the camera, it's like, yeah. How is that going to impact the yeah, it, it, experience? VR is very much like you would position the person that, and then you'd look around or position to the next spot. And look. it's not really like running around, walking around. I, it's a very different type of style. Uh, I don't think not everything will work that way. Really, you, eh? you, to... you don't think like if they're walking forward and then you like look up, that wouldn't seem like natural. No, because it. Uh, um, Again, it's it's that motion sickness thing. Yeah, I think true. it's a big, it's a very big issue with VR. Mm. And I mean, there was a recent game that came out, and it's getting a lot of praise it's from Half Life. But you're doing the same thing. You're uh, there's a whole world that they've built, but you have to uh, um, like you're marking the spot where you kind of like move to. You're not oh, walking. Oh, the- yep, yep, yep. They they showed that on. Uh, did you watch the Hugo Martin episode for Doom for Joe Rogan? Uh, no. So they, so he was like, oh, there's a, there's like a VR uh, Doom game, right? And then the guy's like, oh, I haven't seen it. And then, so what it is is like you, you mark the spot and you teleport to the guy. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of like so, cheesy, though. It's like I don't know. But that's that. That's the thing that you. Ha- I, I think that is the issue with VR because of motion blur, motion sick, whatever it is, right? Mm-hmm. That you can't. It it won't work um, in the normal way that we're thinking, like moving the character. You have to do that that jump thing. right 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 or the teleport thing yeah but you know how like the left joystick is meant for like moving the character and then the right joystick is moving the camera mm-hmm. so i'm wondering if you can remove the right joystick f- with like you can replace the right joystick with the vr headset what do you think no yes no no, no yeah no that that is technically what is done right oh, okay so then there you go yeah so, no, but, but again, you... that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Of course, the head is where you do all the movements. But I'm saying, like, to move the character, it, it that's why it only would work. You have to design it around the technology. Okay, yeah, I see, I see your point. Like, it's it's not, it's not like favorable at this moment. Well, yeah, not if if it's this type of game, like the way we see it right now with its with its current polishing, you it would work. You know what I mean? Right. You'd have right, to right, right. redesign it for those specifics specifications of a VR to make it work. But you'd have to figure all that out. Right, makes sense, makes sense. Well, what did you think of the um the world? Uh it was good. I think the the um a lot of detail in the world, I guess. Right, and, totally. I, I was worried about that too. I was like, is it gonna be mm-hmm. flat levels? You know what I mean? Like it, right. it it's like um it's the illusion of a free world, so it's like you have. So, like, okay, okay I got a question for you because you played this game. So, okay, is it yeah. to what you thought of that world, this world, or whatever, wherever they are in this demo? Oh, great question. Um, yeah, yeah. When I was playing it, I was like, oh, this is how it should have been. <laughs> like, like, 
because because the first one was like polygon so you're like yeah, yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's like yeah this no, the game the the first game is amazing like if you're looking for a classic game to play definitely play final fantasy 7 i'm just about to beat final fantasy 8 right now and i realize now why final fantasy 8 got so much hate so like when i was a kid it was, mm-hmm. i was like super stoked over this game because like i wasn't really thinking like you're not like mature enough to understand like storylines right when you're a kid so like, yeah. now that i'm playing it again i'm like oh this is a cheesy storyline you know because mm-hmm. like so what was the criticism for that was it was a storyline for yeah that? it was a storyline yeah everyone talked about oh. how terrible the storyline was i was like what what are you guys talking about because i loved it as a kid right but i think right. i loved the experience of being in an open world with good graphics right because final fantasy 7 right. was an open world but terrible graphics you know, mm-hmm. but yeah. So circling back to the world, um, th- this is like, this is a more realistic take. Do, do you remember that scene where like they're running through um, the turnstiles and they jump over it, and then you're going up the levels, like like um, like it felt like you're actually going through a factory. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like in the Final Fantasy VII original <laughs> game, it was kind of like these like set pieces. It's just an image, right? Yeah, then... yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. So I was kind of like, when I was playing Final Fantasy VII, the first one, I was like, I wasn't believing where I was, right? You know? right. But like seeing the scalability of Final Fantasy VII the remake, it's like, mm-hmm. oh wow, this is this is what it should have been. Like it's more realistic. Like even the size of the monsters, you're like, that makes sense. Right. Okay. Yeah. It felt very what like. The, mm-hmm, yeah. What about the character designs? Oh, brilliant! I was like, I was blown away even by the trailer of like seeing, because again, it's like polygons, so you don't really know what these people look like, mm-hmm. you know. And then you get like sketches because people do like fan art, you know. And then, yeah. but seeing this one, I'm like, oh, this is perfect as to what they should have, except for Barrett. <laughs> I didn't like Barry. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of like, because he's supposed to be more jacked. Like, if you actually play, if you play, like, the Polygon version, he's, like, this huge dude with, like, a Gatling gun arm. But he's kind of, he's, like, still big, but he's not, like, he's not, like, behemothly big. Right. You know, it was more realistically big, and I was kind of like, eh, that took all the fun out of Barrett. You made him too real. You know, the tattoos mm-hmm. and stuff. I was kind of like, ah. But, like, Cloud, perfect, air. Aries, Aerith, I think her name, Aerith, amazing. Um, I saw some pictures of Tifa. Are you following the uh, Instagram of Final Fantasy VII? No, no, I have Oh, man, that. it's it's amazing. They're showing off the characters and stuff, and you're like, wow, this is a really good game. Well, we're only like three weeks away, right? So. Oh, really? Or I think it's two or three weeks away, yeah. Before, oh, sweet. See, that's the only problem, because like, now that with the whole COVID thing and we're all like watching our shekels, I'm like, mm-hmm. this bit game better be freaking worth it if I'm going to spend the money to buy it, you know? Because <laughs> it's going to be like, what, 80 bucks? And you're like, ah, oh, it's 80 bucks I could have spent on food, you know? But like... like, like well, there's no other mm-hmm. games right now. Uh, I was, again, there was so many other ones that were supposed to come out in around April. I don't mind getting this now, actually. Yeah, true. Um, I, I find that um, I find that like with this whole COVID thing, we're really seeing, you know, they're like, oh, essential businesses are going to stay open. And yeah. then like, like video games are an essential business. Like, uh, well, no, video games are not, not anymore. But like, mm-hmm. they stayed no, open, yeah. you know, but like, like with like the alcohol, marijuana, like all this online yeah, stuff, you're like, oh, I get it. People just want to be entertained. Like we've been saying that for a while, right? Like, yeah like expand all consciousness all forms of consciousness seek to expand or entertain itself and it's like Mm -hmm. really that's that's all we do as like humans you know we're like looking for the next video game or streaming thing we could watch well yeah i mean there's nothing else you're bored then totally yeah exactly in a perfect society if you give if like in a utopian society if we gave ourselves everything like don't worry Mm -hmm. about food shelter all that stuff we're gonna get you covered it's like what else are you gonna do except expand your mind or entertain your mind Mm-hmm. you know and i feel like yeah. yeah like this game is definitely a freaking mind blow entertainment game you know i think so i think it's probably a good time yeah totally and, and <laughs> people I find... will, will be people will be inside playing because this is hours of game play in here but watch it only be like five hours or something because the game is so intense that like you can only download five hour chunks at a time 
know what I mean? Because like, how much memory is this game gonna have unless you have like a CD, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, oh, if you direct download this, like, how big is this file? Yeah, but we are uh, already we are already seeing pieces of this happen with like, um, oh, what's that game? GTA Five. Um, GTA so, Five. No, 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 not GTA Five. The one that came after GTA Five. Red Dead? Red Dead. Okay, so we already saw, like, an insane open world in Red Dead, you know? So, mm-hmm. like, it's funny because, like, like you have, like, set points, right? Um, like, so basically a set point is, like, a, a habituation mark. So, like, you you turn up the temperature, and then you you start to habituate to the temperature, and that becomes your new set point. You're just like, okay, this is what it is now, you know? The new normal mm-hmm. is what they're saying, right, for the whole COVID thing. It's the new normal. So, like, it's interesting because if you look back at all the games that were coming up, you're like, oh, each one was a stepping stone to the next one. And then now having this, it's like, of course we're here, you know? Yeah. It's like a logical right. jump, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like, this is light years ahead of all the other games that we played, I think. Yeah. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I, th- I think in, 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 in the aspect, in this uh, type of role playing with, I, I feel like with the choosing the way, the spells and stuff, I mm-hmm. think it's, yeah. the, it has taken a big leap forward in, with the way to do it. That's what I mean, like light years, yeah. right? It's like, whoa, yeah. what are we doing? Like, it's crazy it's right now. It, it took some time. I mean, it took some time. There was a lot of issues, even within the remake, uh, to get it out so that, now that we're almost here at the release, it's pretty good. So. Oh, you know what I loved about the game too. Um, aside from um, the gameplay, all right, let's talk about like the story now and like the inter- like. All right, you can't change the story, but the interactions between the characters, I was like, wow, yeah. this is so cool. Like the way they're because like you had to read it before, which is so annoying. But I guess it's also good because you had to, you could speed it up. You're like, I don't care about this dialogue. Da-da-da-da-da. Like, let me just get to the right, right. then the yeah. next checkpoint where I got to you know whatever. But like. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying the interactions between the characters, you know, like when, when they kept talking about cloud, they're like, Oh, is this what a soldier can do? Oh, is he a soldier? You know, like what are his powers? Like they really looked at him so highly, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm intrigued by the story too. I don't know too much about it even between the characters, but from, from the demo itself, it was like, you do want to know more about clouds. Past, right? Backstory. Yeah. Yeah, His past. Do you, do you want a spoiler and, alert or do you want like a little spoiler? Uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll oh, play the game. All right, all right. I'll be playing the game. Okay, be okay. Because there's this, <laughs> all right, because it's just, all right, I don't want to spoil it for you, but like there is a big plot twist. So like you're looking up to Cloud and then later on you're like, oh, wait. So I was like, very interesting. Right, right. Yeah. Right. It, it, so like it, it's interesting to see like the way they've updated the game to add more mm-hmm. more feeling towards each character. And it's kind of like, the way they perceive cloud is very um like very so is this the based. is this uh, the demo is that the beginning is yeah that's the beginning. that is the beginning yeah okay. and then the once they uh how did the demo end i can't remember I played it a couple of weeks ago because i'm trying to like remember um well you blow the thing up right and yeah but you, you leave and that's it right you just leave yeah i think so okay yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that is the whole opening sequence to the first game to the original yeah. game. And then, like, okay. after that, you go to, like, their hideout and stuff. Mm, like, okay. you, you do this first mission, which sets the stage. It's, it's such a brilliant storyline. Like, looking at the story now, it's so good. But, like, in comparison, like, again, if you're if you're a little kid, it's sort of like watching, like, a Disney movie, you know, when you're a kid. Mm-hmm. And then you're kind of yeah. like, oh, this is, like, fun, you know? So, like, comparing mm-hmm. it to Final Fantasy VIII, where I was just like, oh, this is just fun. But then realizing now that there's, like, the story was way better in Final Fantasy VII, like, you can really see it. Like, I think you're in for a huge treat because you're going to play the game, you know, and you haven't you haven't played the story yet. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what did you think of, like, the transitioning, like, the character? Do you tend, will you be able to play all the characters? Is that? Uh, no. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, because... Wait, it depends on which characters, actually. Okay. So, uh, well, the, one, the ones that we saw in this one. Uh, no, uh, we could only, we could NPCs. Do it with, we only... Um, Barrett uh, you and... Could only, it's Barrett, right? Yeah, yeah. So, and Cloud. Um, yeah, so those, those are party members. Yeah, no, you don't get to play as everyone. 
because like they come and go in the story but like the main people yeah you do i really loved the character switching i gotta say that was so (laughs) cool because then it created the amazing battle strategies right you'd get like cloud to do something and then you switch to the other character then you get him to do something you'd switch back like that is so mind-blowing i I felt it was if well at least with this one i felt it was because there was parts um where you would need to play as Barry. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was not like they're just put in there and then you, you don't really have to use them, but you do kind of have to use them uh, here and there. Right, like, right, for right, right, right. So, for, for, like, uh, like little, middle, ah, little mini puzzles. Yeah. Right, but but not in terms... Like, I was, I was thinking more of, like, the boss battles. Like, when you're actually fighting, I thought that was crazy. How, like... Mm-hmm. Because, like, you could do that, like... The turn-based style is like each character gets a an action for that turn, right? Right, right. But like, right. so I was like really curious, like how are you going to switch between characters? And that seems seamless as well. Like, and they were also like, yeah. I mean, it's not like it, the other characters not just doing anything; they're also doing stuff. Yeah, they're battling. Well. Yeah, it was yeah phenomenal. Such mm-hmm. a great game. Yeah, yeah. The character switching is is really cool. I wonder though, because like you only had parties of three. Back in um, back in Final Fantasy VII, it was like you only mm-hmm. get to select three characters. But I wonder if, like, because of the way the game is, could you use all characters at the same time? So you could flurry the the evil guy, you know? I don't know. Yeah, like that's... that would be kind of cool. Like your whole party is with you the entire game. So like through the whole mm. game, you're like you're battling with all characters, you know? So you could potentially have like eight people on the field battling at the same time. Right? Would that think, be nuts? I, Dude, that would be I, I so don't know sick. They would want it. I don't think they're going to do that. It's a lot of things. I think they'll probably keep it to Max 3 if it was Max 3 in the original. Oh, too bad, because that would be so cool. I, I I don't think they will change that. I, I don't feel like they'll change that. Hmm. Um, I could be wrong. What, what do you think about the leveling up system? Uh, I didn't really dwell too much into okay, it. Okay, so okay, okay, but but I meant like leveling up the character. So one of the first times I've ever seen this was in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, where mm-hmm. um, they would whatever trick you would do, you'd get better at that trick, right? So okay. so before before in the original Tony Hawk's, like one of the first ones, uh, you would select which attribute you want to increase. So that's how like all strategy games work, right? It's like okay, mm. I want to increase this, right? They kind right, of did right. it in um, they did it in God of War as well, the leveling up system. Mm-hmm. But like, okay. I really liked that whatever you did in the game, just by playing the game, you leveled up the character. That was that was great because like right now, so for example, I'm playing Final Fantasy VIII right now, and it's really annoying because my guys aren't weak and uh, aren't strong enough, <laughs> so I have to like grind the character. Oh, okay. So I gotta like battle these like random characters for like two hours you know, just to level up my characters and be like okay let's move on to the next guy you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. whereas mm-hmm. like in that one it's like just by playing the game the ones the moves that you constantly keep using they get stronger and stronger i like that so then there's no right. like str- i guess that kind of takes away from it too because like you're losing that ability to strategize you know mm-hmm. whereas like no, fine i i didn't really look too much into because it, it was kind of i think that really came somewhat near the middle to the end i think the level like up. to yeah to like explore what all that stuff was i didn't really look more into it oh i see oh no i, I get what you're saying i get what you're saying no i was just talking about like um when you were like hitting the character it would say like level up okay okay and i was just, like oh just, that's cool i didn't i didn't delve into like the actual like the finer the details of, yeah like right yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah no no i was just okay, talking about like that. just like boosting your character's level oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that was fine. I guess it, it, I'm used. To, I'm I'm playing right now, Horizon. So it's the same kind of thing. Oh, so right? whatever you do, it naturally boosts it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or just the character itself. But then you, you. I don't know. Is there a skill tree? I, I don't know. Uh... That's what I meant. I didn't. I didn't delve in into that. Yeah, that, that's that's the tree. thing. I don't. I, don't... I, I did but... like that for God of War, though. It would like you could unlock specific moves, like you got to yeah. choose. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I. I I'm not too sure. Is it in this? Is it even in, in the original? I guess. Yeah, yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. like, in, in the original, you'd, like, boost up a level, and then you choose um, what you want. To, like, mm-hmm. like it, yeah, skill tree. It's a great, great way to put it. But, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. I, I find though that like, so like speaking of transferable skills, one of the things that I, I learned, so like, like because I played a lot of like RPGs growing up, mm-hmm. you you have like, you have to earn money and then you have to figure out what you're going to spend that money on to boost your character. You know what I mean? Like, am I going to buy a bunch of potions in order to like, fight the next boss, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Like skill trees, like how am I going to utilize these like experience points in order to like maximize character, right? And I find mm-hmm. that like even though people harp on video games, they're like, oh, it's like a waste of time, transferable skills, like you can actually build strategic mindsets and like value systems off of video games, you know? Do you find that yeah, too I... or is it just me, like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, everything we do will bring a skill in some way right right a transferable skill but it's funny to see like who hasn't played video games and then you can tell that like they're like even if you like lay out all the assets on the table you're like okay we're going to use this for this this for this this for this you know but like Mm -hmm. because certain people haven't played video games it's like you can kind of see the strategic deficit you know right right i think it's just super yeah 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 um Mm. What else? Um, do you know when the next? You said like a couple months, but like, is that definitive or is it just a guess? What the, for, for the next part? I I don't know. Like okay. that's what I read, but I again, I not finding anything specific. I've I've noticed that they've like sped up a lot of a lot of content because of this covid stuff right like they've been releasing a bunch of stuff like earlier than um earlier than normal so i wonder if maybe they'll speed up the next piece of this game i don't know uh depends where they are in development i guess true 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 you know the first game was like i think it was three cds long or four cds three maybe i think it was three so maybe they'll follow that too Mm, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. We'll find out. April tenth is when it's releasing. So. Oh wow, that's super soon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's very soon. <laughs> it's too bad. Like all the stores are closed because then you can't get like a physical copy. Yeah, I don't. I don't see. In... Well, I, it depends on your hard drive space. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I'm just yeah. worried about like, do I have to delete a bunch of other games? You know, <laughs> plus you need like the cord in order to like download the games. That's also annoying, you know. Like, uh, yeah, the the only thing we're like missing in this current time is like we need high speed internet to be like ubiquitous, you know. Yeah, the thought yeah, talking about the internet though, I because everyone's home, they're um... seeing dips. Yeah, there would be effect on bandwidth. Yeah, I told I was we were watching something on Crave like a couple days ago and it kept mm-hmm. pausing and I was like, What the hell? Yeah. I think like, mm-hmm. maybe everyone was like watching something at the exact same time. Yeah, uh, it could be, but I uh, I don't know. Uh what was the uh uh, uh what YouTube is doing is uh is default it will load the video in four eighty. Oh, yeah, 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 I saw that too. Yeah, something you know, like, no, no, yeah. I didn't see the YouTube thing, but like, uh, I think it was Netflix was doing something too. They're like rendering it a lower. Um, yeah, yeah, just to, uh, because everyone's watching it at once. Yeah. <laughs> so in yeah, order to, crazy. Uh, you know, have enough bandwidth, that's what they got to do. It, it's funny. It's interesting. It, yeah. yeah, it's funny to see like our world becoming more and more digital from this whole COVID thing, you know. Yeah. Well, they have to. I mean, I was watching some things that's going on in China too. It's the same kind of thing. Oh, I don't right? know if I mentioned it no. last time, but um, like yeah, like if you're gonna order, you can't go into the restaurant. So you you would um, they'd have like a barcode or something, like one of those you scan with the camera. Oh no way! And then you'd like order your food, and they would bring it oh, to the that- door. Oh, that's so fast. So like um, Blaze Pizza, they were doing something similar. I went to go get some Blaze. And then they were like, um, they're like, yeah, this line is not for ordering. And I was like, okay. And then like, well, I mean, I already online ordered, so I was waiting to pick it up. But like people were walking mm-hmm. in and they're like, oh, we only do online orders. So people were just like, so like in an effort to stop gathering, right? You were yeah. online orders. But then people who walked in, they were just like standing in a cluster ordering online. 
So yeah, that's why you don't. Yeah, I don't. Right? So it's like, oh, whoops. <laughs> they should do that outside the door. Just kind of keep them all outside. I wouldn't totally. bring them inside. Totally. Yeah, yeah. How How are you finding the? Um, you still haven't stepped outside since you're fourteen. No, I haven't stepped outside. Oh my god, that's. I would like blow my mind out, man. I'd be so bored. No, not bored, but like, um, like stir crazy. Well, I guess yeah, you have I'm a full so... house, right? So, like, you have yeah, three that's, floors. That's yeah. Over yeah. here is like one floor, so it's like, yeah, it's not even a floor; it's like it's a room. A yeah, yeah. So basically, it's like, so you feel like you're. Um... You, you know what it reminds me of? It's sort of like I used to think this way. Like whenever I leave for work in the morning, like Cowboy Bebop, mm-hmm. like our apartment was like a spaceship, you know? <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. And then now with this whole COVID thing, it's like it is really like a spaceship, you know, it's like <laughs> you are docked here. Can't really go outside. Right. You know, like if you look at like mm-hmm. spaceship shows, like cowboy bebop, it's like very small can confined spaces as well. Yeah, that's true. Maybe they, yeah, they probably go crazy too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's probably why they have to off world on a planet and just like chill for a bit and then go back in, you know? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> so you're, you're playing other games while you're, yeah, I mean, I started, uh, uh um horizon so i'm gonna actually try to finish this game okay this cool. time do you yeah. do you know have you heard anything yet about like staying longer or like can you work remote or no because i'm wondering like, no oh it's too bad it's too bad because it'd be cool like you just continue playing you know you know i wonder like <laughs> what are people like what do you do during this time you know except play video games and watch things you know Sleep? I don't know. Really, n- nothing much. <laughs> yeah, really. Like this is such, like we're just we're super it. privileged to be able to like just have very minimal concerns, you know. Mm-hmm. But like, it's interesting to think like if everything is covered for you, what do you do with your time? You know. Yeah, that's and it true. really makes people crazy that like, it's like, wait, what? All I have to do is like watch videos on online and like play video games you know i mean yeah but it's not not everyone not everyone likes doing that so yeah, that's what i mean so it's like or like really interesting. Uh, who like to be social are gonna have a hard time with this yeah for sure for sure do you see that thing about the gps where they're gonna try and track you using your uh google location supposedly they're talking about implementing that to see if they're like gatherings of 50 or more or like 10 or more or something i don't know no i didn't, I didn't hear that yeah. i get all my news from like social media feeds so it's probably not trustworthy at all <laughs> <laughs> so that's why i ask you for it you know yeah yeah well probably i mean i don't know i would have to look into that but like i would yeah i, I don't really follow the social media news per se i mean i do on that on twitter but like there's sources in the sense yeah, for, or for, whoever for me, it is for me if on. it didn't get posted on six buzz i don't know about it shout out six buzz mm. yeah um so is this going to be the last great game of our console before ps5 no oh really all right so what else is there well there's last of us oh right i forgot all there's about that. ghost of shishima Oh, I thought. Okay, oh, I thought Ghost of Tsushima was like going to be a um, PS5 game. I thought like. No, it's supposedly coming out in June. Wow. Okay. Do you think they push that? Everything's. Further? Uh, I don't know. Because like, especially with this whole like COVID thing, it's like, how are you going to, how, like, how are you going to convince us to pay half a half a grand for a console? You know well, at I mean? the end of the year uh you know what i mean like i don't know they're definitely gonna have to drop their prices or something like especially if we hit a recession it's like how are you gonna i don't know this? when when did even the ps3 come out i think during the same recession time right oh really okay and people still bought it i mean not all at once i mean yeah it was 2006 like over time, with the yeah, start yeah. recession that was ps3 so, Ghost of Tsushima and uh, Last of Us were slated for the PS4, or was it like PS5? Yeah. And... Oh, really? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's coming out this year. Okay, that's great then. Hmm. Okay, so and then so Cyberpunk. are we are we seeing the last of 
oh cyberpunk too i totally forgot about that but are, are we seeing the last of like like this is our final push for the ps4 or like do you like because you know like with the ps3 or well i don't PS2? there won't be i think this is the last year for any like triple a games triple a games okay true 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 because for like any people... big big type of games like right. there isn't anything announced that was if anything is going to be announced it'll be also be it'll also be available on ps like the next console okay okay cool oh so it'd be like a double sort of like i uh, would think it would be a double there would be a transition time in between it is like last of us when they did that number it was like ps3 and it was also available ps4 yeah they released one later for a remastered version for the ps4 yeah 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 i remember like um because i studied this in the high-tech marketing class but like ps2 they were still coming out with games so it cannibalized the ps3 success yeah, I mean, PS3 was already, it was expensive at the time, so. Right, but, but like, because they kept making games in Japan for PS2, everyone's like, I don't want to buy a PS, um, PS3. So mm-hmm. my worry is that, like, that could, so, but that's why I asked you, like, is this the last, the last we're going to Yeah, I don't know of any other games. This is of like any, like, big games. Announced. Nothing, nothing, nothing big has been announced. Okay. So it looks like this would be the last year for any kind of big game okay, so on Sony's him, side. So we hot. will probably see the new or whatever else games because like the next God of War hasn't been announced. So most likely that'll be PS5. Okay, so these sure. things generally like they've been working on PS5 games at least for maybe a year, year and a half. So maybe but, two at least. But have you heard well, anything about... Um like like this whole situation affecting video games uh sony has said that they're still going to release this year so for the next con okay so like it didn't really affect them it hasn't affected them yet it might change in the future right 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 um what about um so like it it obviously didn't really affect apple releasing their pro version or what was that thing that got it? it was pro right yeah, uh, yeah, new new iPad Pro. Yeah, or okay. just uh, you can say more like an updated iPad Pro and and MacBook Air. I think it was. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't seem like tech industries are really worried at this point. Yeah. Uh, it it might affect production for like the new iPhones and stuff. That makes sense. Later yeah. this year, um, but we don't know about. We'll see that when that happens. But you haven't you haven't read anything about like potential. Um, no, I, 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 nothing has come out. There isn't, other than like Sony actually saying that they're they're still releasing this year. Okay, cool. At this, what about so. Xbox? Did they did they halt? There hasn't. I haven't read anything about Xbox. But one thing I did hear about Xbox is someone uh, hacked. They have, um, I don't know how like true this is, but they have um, someone has got their source code. No way. Okay. And they're putting a hundred million dollar ransom on it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. What well, wasn't there? So, well, that has so thing. far been said. We don't know. We have like I think it has to be like confirmed, but like it, it's so yeah. it's so interesting. Like digital pirates now. You know what I mean? Like you can yeah. like ransom something off. Like wasn't there another thing? Oh, it was the, it was the Star Wars right? They the actor forgot the script, so they had to buy back the script. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It's it's interesting like how that that can really affect, you know. But like, mm-hmm. how do you even get away with that? Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you would get with that. Like, how but... do you get the money? Oh, I hope... yeah. There's ways to do it, I guess. I don't like know. Bitcoin. I don't know. Like, it's kind of weird. Mm, may- maybe I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's weird to think about like how do you get the money off of that transaction because if it's digital it can be traced probably more like more like bitcoin i would say or something in that sense something in that way so something that's not like like actual money yeah Hmm. but i don't know maybe this story is all made up we'll see true it's like to build hype over the game i say it doesn't really matter you're coming out later this year so just why even pay it who cares yeah true 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 and at this point what is the source code used for it's the, it was the graphics source code like their graphics engine i guess yeah but it's like who cares 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it really works in in that world. So maybe it is something important to keep secret, but I don't know. I think I think essentially what it always comes down to because I saw like the specs back to back for both consoles, and I was like, it's really just about the games because they look almost identical. You know, just like so. Like think about it this way: if the specs are exact, almost identical. Yeah, just like uh, my. I think Xbox is doing a little better than um, PS Five. It uh, depends on how you look at it. Okay. Um, uh, again, it, I was watching. They had like, was it last week or a couple weeks ago? They had some Sony thing, but that was not even really meant for the public. It was meant for like uh, GDC, which is the Game Developers Conference. Are you, t- are you talking about the, the image where it's like back to back and it's like this is the microchip? That's the one I saw. Yeah, yeah, but that I think that came probably after they were like Sony had that um, some live stream about the ps5 and uh what it's doing like the internals okay cool and i think it came out after that saying like oh ps5 is less but it depends on how you look at it though. Oh, like like what do you mean the, the, it's mainly about like how you look at the ram and stuff but it really uh, these numbers don't really matter to the general public it, that's it's, what i'm saying yeah totally so it, so it's like for us we're like who cares if the game is trash you know, it's like, yeah. well, I'm not, even if it's the most amazing graphics in the world, if the game's trash, like, who cares about it, you know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, the, people play it's, it's, it's all about the games. It's it's really about the games. Yeah. If you yeah. got the game on your side, it, it, and, and Sony still has the games on their side. Right, right. Uh, See, they, I haven't seen anything from Xbox. Yeah, tro- yeah. well, they mentioned, like, they mentioned Halo, right? Mm-hmm. They haven't shown Halo, but they've mentioned Halo. They showed, well, they didn't really show gameplay, but they showed something about Halo. Yeah, so it's like... But you know what I'm saying? is like, it's only Halo. Like, even with the games, but they're really... uh, It's... I don't know. For me, I haven't found anything other than Halo being interesting. Yeah, so I agree, I agree. Like, like there's much more games that I'm more excited, even though they're not even announced, but will be probably announced for the PS5, like God of War. Like the next Horizon Zero Dawn. So you don't like, think those games are gonna be multi-platform? Like, like God of War, no. What do you mean, PS4 and PS5, or? Uh, no, no. Like, um, you don't think they'll branch out to like Xbox as well? I don't think so. I don't think so. Sony will give that up. But they will might do like PC, but they won't do Xbox. Interesting. At yeah. least at this point, I don't know. We'll see. If they make deals. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with Xbox, like the way Sony made a deal with Marvel or right, right, with right. Disney, something I'm, like that. If anything like that happens, if there's a way for Sony to make more money, yeah. I'm more excited about the um, multi platform, the cross platform gaming. Like the way Call of Duty. Have you been playing Call of Duty? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit. Uh, I, I, I just can't really play it on the TV. It's. It's not the same as being in front of a monitor. Oh, really? Is it like delay time or just like... You know? Yeah, it's a delay time. I'm not used to like looking at a bigger screen and looking at like all around, like moving my head around. Oh, okay. True, true, true. I get what you're saying. I'm more used to the... Like I've, keeping I've your gotten head used centered to and then... Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're yeah. saying. No. Hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm really interested to see like what cross-platform games are going to come out, you know? Yeah, I think that'll that's that's where it's going to be. Like most cross-platform games or online games will be, uh, will be cross-platform. Uh, yeah, because third party. Why would they yeah. not? Yeah, making no sense. Because like you're kind of just losing out in the market if you were like a, like a PlayStation only, multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. yeah, that could actually work in their favor. But I don't know. It just seems like it seems archaic to make it not like you you can't like entice us with a cross-platform game like call of duty fortnite apex Le- apex legends right is cross platform yeah yeah so yeah. there you go so you can't just do that uh like... i don't know if apex is actually okay is so it? like fortnite yeah. and call of duty you can't just like entice us with a bunch of like cross-platform games and then not expect us to want that in the future you know yeah i i, I think this is all built in in will be in in the future like this is the way it's going and i think that's something that sony was really relu- reluctant on that but uh, if both Xbox and Nintendo are doing it, they have to eventually do right, it. Right, right, right. It's it's funny because it's like a double edged sword. You know, it's like you give us something really amazing, now we expect it every time. You know, like it's <laughs> yeah. sort of like this Final Fantasy VII thing. It's like, dude, if Final Fantasy like 
if the next Final Fantasy that comes after seven isn't this good, it's like we're just gonna like burn our Square Enix stocks. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you can't you can't possibly present something. It's sort of like God of War. So like God of War, um, the newest one was amazing. If God of War two isn't that good, it's just like why even? Well, yeah, out, I mean that's that's know? the pressure that's always put on, right? Because they know. If they got to be better than the one before, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and and, and that can be, um, that you, could affect it, right? You, you know what's interesting about specs too? I was just thinking about this. If you mm -hmm. if you have amazing specs but you can't use them, what's the point? You know what I mean? Like they're like they're touting like, oh, our graphics engine is the best ever. But if if somebody can't code for it or like there's not enough memory for it, it's like, what's the point then? You know? Yeah. I mean, that's why generally the AAA games or the uh, exclusive games are the ones who try to use most of it. Right, 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 right. It's difficult to do when you're doing uh, when you're a third party game. It's your wood. You're doing it in between where you can fit it on both. Right. Right. You won't use the you won't use the max of each, but you'll use what is what each can reach. Right. Do you like think? Between the do two. you think with these last games that are coming out, we're pushing the maximum of the hardware at this point? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Generally, cool. yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. The, the later you go into the system, the way the more they've understood the thing, and if they've released the game before, they'll improve on that same engine and graphics. So, say like for uh, Naughty Dog, they've already done Uncharted, uh, so they'll learn from that, and then. Uh, 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 do more. If you looked at it, like even if, even on PS3, you could see like the change from the beginning of its life so, right. uh, cycle to the end of it, and you would see the same thing with with PS4. So the, this would be really interesting with uh, PS5. Then, if we're already seeing like, so this yeah. is like the the edge of PS4 is mind boggling, right? We're playing mm -hmm. Final Fantasy VII, and it's insane. And then like, so that's just the beginning of PS5. You know, it's like a step ladder. Like, like okay. Yeah now this is the benchmark and then like to see where it's going to go in the future is really like it's very um op like i'm very optimistic of the future mm -hmm. and excited. But a lot of things a lot of these these upgrades like the one i'm hearing like the ray tracing and stuff in the graphics which is supposed to make like the lighting look really good like you know how you saw that um the hellblade or whatever it was uh, uh, on for the xbox game that looked very realistic oh yeah, yeah. like the part yeah, so that was using like ray tracing because it knows like the lighting and how it reflects and stuff. It it makes it more realistic, but then you also need a TV that can do that. It, that's what I'm saying exactly. So, so it's like it's, it's, totally. So all tech has to catch up, and it's like so you might have amazing specs for your console, but if you can't utilize that, what's the point? Yeah, yeah. That's that, that's that's. If they're like they're like oh. Yeah. Um, this, if you had an OLED screen, oh man, <laughs> you're going to see the most amazing graph. It's like, but OLED screens are $10,000, bro. Like who's going to buy that? You know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess you might see some... some improvements, but you won't see like the full, full thing of it. Yeah. So it'd be funny. Like when the PS5 comes out and then we're just like, oh, this is it. But it's like, yeah, cause <laughs> you aren't harnessing the true potential. Cause you need like the ecosystem to be, um, equally as amazing as you know yeah you need to you need a monitor that has an hdr but all this e sort of stuff. even yeah. even like looking at the difference between tv screens and monitors like when i'm photo editing i'm like wow you can really see the difference or and i'll just give you an example like retina display so the the mac pro that i mm -hmm. have right now has like retina display and then like yeah. my work one is like an air right and then like when i'm photo editing you're just like, oh man, this photo is gonna look amazing, and then you put it on the retina, and you're like, ooh, I missed a lot of spots there. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, because the screen isn't compatible to showing you like yeah. the highest resolution, you know? Right, right. That's why I mean, in in professional settings, in well, in big professional settings, is you're generally using something that's bigger than what n n normal people have. Right, 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 totally. Yeah. So it'll fit to everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally, like they're. Yeah. 5k screens no one has a 5k screen you know so it's like right 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 right. but like we have to at least make it for that level like this is like our 
we have to no what i'm saying is like if you do it on a 5k screen it'll work on everything else yeah that's what i mean yeah trickle down like, yeah like you can go backwards but you, you just can't go but you can't go forwards with it it's sort of like um it's sort of like when you're photo editing the bigger the size and you can shrink down without losing any yeah. loss yeah. there's no loss right. in the image if you shrink down there's like a little bit but yeah. it's like whatever but then if you're taking a small image and then scaling it upwards it's like no it's gonna be like pixelated yeah so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so like you have to go at the highest and then like you're gonna get lost at every different level but at least you know you're you're mm -hmm. playing to the maximum capacity because that would yeah. suck if you like have the most amazing like setup at home and then you play it and you're like oh this is terrible i can see all yeah of that, that's I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing with even these games, even with the new console, like they'll have an average set of TVs and this is what people use. Right, totally, totally. This is how it would look in an average setting. It's it's funny. I, I was watching, um, um, what's it called? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the first mm -hmm. one. And because of the new tech, like that was filmed back in 2000, right? So like when you're yes. watching the, um, the, the screen at the time, you're like, oh my God, this looks so good right but then i'm watching it on my monitor now a 20 <laughs> 2019 monitor and you can tell that they're props like the swords that they're using are props you yeah, can see that they're yeah. made out of plastic and i was like oh like <laughs> how did i not notice this before but it's because like the loss right like this is exactly what we're talking about like you have to build it for like the highest potential and then like it'll yeah. it can dwindle down but like if you're going low and then trying to go high all I'm seeing is imperfection at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you can re we can really see that with old movies, right? Yeah, so, totally, totally. Like much older movies, you can see what it looks like, but it wasn't like that in think, their mind when they were watching it. Totally. Yeah. That's why I can't watch um, 60 frames per second because when I watch those, you can tell that those are – or like when we go to IMAX, another good example, like I can tell that they're wearing – costumes you know but then if you watch it in like regular you're like oh they're not wearing costumes it's like that's actually uh part of their like it's more believable you know right yeah yeah do you know who david lynch is sounds familiar he's, he's like a director and what he said was like um you he uses a lot of shadows because the shadow is gonna let your brain fill in the gaps right and it's like they, we're seeing that because when i watched um the marvel movie remember we, we saw it in imax i don't think you yeah. were there were you there the first time we saw it in imax i saw it twice so i watched no no i think the first time I was with you saw it in imax and i was like oh i can't watch this because it looks like they're wearing costumes and then i watched it again as like regular with like mm -hmm. not high quality and it was like totally believable at that point right yeah so it's almost like a again double-edged sword like do we want better graphics? You know, I think we do. We discussed this, and I I would say yes. <laughs> yeah, we, it didn't we, we did discuss it before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, it doesn't bother you, but like, but I mean, like for gaming, it's different though, because like, you know, we know it's not. We're going into it knowing it's not real, but like with movies, yeah, it's yeah. different. Yeah. All right. So, final thoughts on Final Fantasy VII? Definitely a purchase. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a uh, I'm gonna put a review, but I think I, I I feel that the reviews will be a pretty good high number. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree too. Yeah, but who knows? Like, watch like the other like the subsequent levels be <laughs> terrible. You know, like they put all of their money into making the like the beginning bit amazing, and then as soon as you get mm -hmm. into the others, like ooh, so much loss. <laughs> yeah. But y you know what I'm really excited to play? Like, there's um this arcade island or like. I think it's an island, yeah. Or like, there's like, um, in, in like later on in the game, you hit this arcade world, and I would love to see what that looks like, in, in like this new, graphic setting. Okay. Yeah, but, because it's like it's just like straight fantasy. You can like do snowboarding. Mm -hmm. You can do like wrestling, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like they had like this one part of Final Fantasy VII that was just pure mini games. You could do, yeah, like you just do a bunch of different like mini games and it was so fun. So it'll be cool to see what they introduce with the new technology and stuff. Right. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this mm. game. Okay, so even right. if you are in um, tight monies right now, save up <laughs> for this game because this game looks legit and that's hours and hours of fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah, that's true. I think, I think it will be. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. All right. I so, don't really play a lot of RPGs, but this might be one of them. But I wouldn't. So. No, but I don't classify this as an RPG. Like so, I, I, it is an RPG, but I think it's more action adventure than RPG at this point. Yeah, yeah, it, it does feel. Like, yeah, I think it's just yeah. It's, yeah. it's I, more. I, I, Mm-hmm. Like, like to to put it with JRPGs, Japanese RPGs, uh, I don't put it at that level because it's like not that turn based and strategic. It's not what we're used to. Or this might be the new normal, right? And this is the new what right. RPGs are like. But mm-hmm. it's more action adventure than RPG, I think. At this point. Okay. But we could just right. be reclassifying what RPG is because like nobody's gonna make a classic JRPG anymore. Unless it's like an indie game player that's like in love with that stuff, you know, he's like, oh, nostalgia feel. Well, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think AAA games I can see for RPGs going in this direction. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So cool. till next time, um, check out the free playlist on Zenreal, ZenrealClothingCo.com. It is uh, Zenreal Radio. Don't need to buy any stuff. Just save your money. Save it for this game. Yeah, stay yeah. healthy out there. All right, take it easy. Till next time. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye. Peace.